Hello guys, Max here. Welcome back to Mobile Legends. I've been recording this video for a couple of hours now and the video didn't save. <laughs> Fully didn't save. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the items in some certain heroes and their roles. So yeah, there are six heroes. There are six roles here: tech, fighter, assassin, mage, marksman, supports. And I'm gonna show you guys the how to use the build and their equipments they can use, like attack, mag attack, magic, defense, movement, jungling, and roaming. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the equipment on certain. Heroes like here. And the first thing is gonna use is the magic items. Okay. Changi. <laughs> That's three cuts in a row and three videos. And it, I think it's two videos now. And it's still fail. <laughs> We're gonna fix this, okay? We're gonna fix this fix this, alright? My host is gonna be using Chang E because she's a mage herself, because you know, it's magic items, so yeah. Actually, I have someone who is actually very nice. I have a guy. I have a good idea, guy. <laughs> Still <swords laughs> run deep. No, this will work. <laughs> this will work. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Now, first up, I'm gonna talk about the first item you can, the first quick items you must get. So, yeah. I'm not gonna explain about the common items you can get from the game. It's a, it's an item ingredient. So I'm gonna talk about these, the main items itself. So the first up is the enchanted talisman. Now the enchanted talisman regens your mana. The blue bar that represents Changi is mana. Uh, Ling has a unique bar, so I'll explain that next time. So yeah, but when Changi is using this, it consumes mana for all of her skills, like. A lot though. So as you can see out here, her blue bar is has a little bit of depletion, but its mana region is regaining back. This not affects on the battle spell like this flicker here. So yeah, it does not affect on the it does not affect on the battle spells. It ha so uh, let me explain the unique passive. Spring unique passive spring regenerates twelve percent of max mana every ten seconds in total. So yeah, this is the first big item you can get though. So for some mages and support heroes as well, so yeah. Also, there, also this thing gives you stats as well, like 50 magic power, 250 HP, and 20% cooldown. So yeah, nice thing here. Next up is Clock of Destiny. Now this item I don't usually use for Chang E. You may explain why, but it has like a time adds 30. It has a unique passive called Time. Adds 30 HP and 5 magic attack every 30 seconds, up to 10 times, and. It's unique passive is also has reincarnate. If time reaches max, reaches max, then the hero will receive extra five percent magic attack and three hundred mana. I, this item is, well, I mean it's kind of useful for some of you, but I don't usually use this item a lot <laughs> because of it. I mean, you have to wait for the passive to pop up. Oh look, see this? That's the passive right here. It's, and you can see. Ask me, we're in thirty seconds. It's the game itself. Like this timer right here. I just tap. So yeah, you must wait for 30 seconds in game to get this passive. Like, I mean, it grants you a little bit of HP and a little bit of magic attack, but for me, I don't use this a lot. So and the stats as well is 60 magic power and 16, 615 HP and 600 mana. Also, when you sell the item, you don't get the the passive will no longer be shown up there, as it will not be shown again. So yeah, it's a first pick item again. This is a first pick item, so. Yeah, that's it. Next up is glowing one. Ugh. Now this is useful for Chang He because let's wait. That's that's her first pick item. But anyways, glowing one, glowing one will scorch the enemies. Now this works on skills and some users who have magic damage. Basic attack, basic attack on her does not work. Skills on the upper end does work because it deals magic damage. For Chang He here. Okay, let me get rid of the burn effect first because you might not see it. So yeah. So Chinese second skill has two basic magic damage on attacking Ling. 
Now the glowing one attribute's passive is Scorch. Skill damage, skill damage will burn the targets for three seconds, dealing one percent of the target's max HP as magic damage per seconds. When it's hit from the same dam same target, it will have 2.5. It will increase its damage to 2.5. Its damage is minimum to 10 percent, and its stats gave you is 75 magic power, 400 HP, and plus five movement speed. Next up is lightning torrential. Now this is the opposite of the glowing one, which burns their targets. This one will resonate six three enemies only. Please, three, I mean, because let's show it. It it will release that a little lightning shot. This is an example right here. Now, upon using a skill I use, there's this resonate just Quinn, pops up. Run! Roger's <laughs> coming! So yeah, the resonate well will resonate three enemies. This will not work on four and five enemies. Uh, let me give you an example. Four enemies. And this is what happens. Quick, now, now it did not hit the fourth enemy, so it only works on three enemies only. So yeah, lightning to entrance is okay. This is a first pick item again, and okay for some mages as well. Also, it stats 75 magic power, 300 mana, and 10% cooldown. Last first pick item is a calamity reaper. This is recommended for assassin, mage, and fighter mage. Now, let me explain why this calamity reaper is useful for those two, for those two roles I mentioned. Calamity. After using a skill, the next basic attack deals extra true damage. That equals 200% attack, 100% magic attack. Now, upon using a skill, true damage pops out. So the true damage is the color white number. Wow! Look at all these carrots. So the cool, the true damage number is the color white. So yeah, Link got taken by true damage. And also, its stats gave you a 70 magic power, 100 mana, 30%. 30 mana regen and 10% cooldown reduction. So that's the first pick items. Next up is the second pick items, which is concentrated energy. Now this item, I just need to turn up Isn't God mode here. Just the and let me explain what is this thing does. Now, using this will grant you life steal. I have plus 135. Please. That's from the life steal she had. Without the concentrated energy. She gains no life still. But there's another unique passive as well though. There's a unique passive to this one right here. If I can kill Link. Which... Let's kill... Wait, wait. So, I got 511... Let's bring him here. <laughs> so, I got 511 HP. And the reason is... Here's the next one. Recharge. Kill enemy hero to recover HP by 10%. So upon So upon eliminating um Ling <laughs> But you get your you get your HP back. Also the stats give you magic power 70 and 700 HP. Next up is Ice Queen's one. Now this is the opposite of the cut now I said opposite. This thing has life steel, but it's not very high up from the concentrated energy. This thing has 25, this one only has 10. But it's still has life steel. Anyways, Ice Queen wants. This one slows your targets. Now it's perfect because Ling. Ling is gaining damage, but he's moving very fast. One, How do you stop his movements? Two, three, four, I don't want to kill Ling, but as you can see right here, Ling is very slow at the moment. And I, oh, and then, and then he's running so fast now. Quick, so Ice Queen wants. Passive is Ice Bound. Skills that deal damage to an enemy hero will slow them by 15%. And it only lasts for 3 seconds, up to 10, up to 2 times. So, yeah, Ling got slow for just a bit, and he's walking fast now. Look, see, he's just walking slow though. Any second now, he's gonna get faster. See? So yeah, that's it. Also, aside from the life stone she gets from you get from the ice queen one, you got 75 magic power, 150 mana, and 70% 7 percent of movement speed. Next up is Necklace of Durance. Now this one is a life training effect. Now life train is very is very useful against with some heroes that has many healing powers. So yeah. And Ling's not one of those heroes. So let me show you how this life training works. Now, you can see that there's a broken heart in there. That's the light training. So, the light training will give you lesser healing. I don't know why Link's not fighting. Yeah, he's not fighting. <laughs> he's not fighting. So anyways, light training is 
a unique passive which reduces the region effect of enemies with skill damage. Now for Changi, she can just do without skill damage. She can just use this. Her second skill activation. So now I need to get rid of this thing. Oh, there we go. Fine. Okay, so yeah, necklace of the runs gives you light drain, and yeah, it will reduce the region of your enemy heroes. Also, it stats 60 magic power plus 5 cooldown reduction and then light steel as well. Magical life steel, 10%. Again, not very high from this thing, but you get life steel anyways. Next up is Divine Glaive. Now, I think this only grants you a lot of penetration. The Divine Glaive has 40% magic penetration and its unique passive is Spell Breaker. When HP is higher than 70%, the unique bonus effect is increased by 30%. So, let's use it, why not? No, it makes sense. No, I think I used God Mode on this one. But, Ling is... Why are you not fighting? I guess you're more patient than Banjer. So, yeah. So, Divine Glaive just, you know, penetrates your user's magic resistance. It only has 65 magic power. Now, opposite from that, we got the Genius One. It has lower magic penetration, which is 15%. It's not that very high, but its unique passive is magic. That's the unique passive, magic. Dealing damage to enemy heroes will reduce 3 or 10 points of their magic defense. Scales with level. Now, this is not gonna work for Ling because I you don't know what the magic defense does work. So, here's a use right here, and it has magic defense. Upon using passive or skill, The magic depth points down to 30 points. So yeah, it's magic resistance lowered down. And it's perfect because this thing has magic penetration. I think it's best used when you mix with this to this. But then again, it actually is useful. So yeah, that's it. So that's from so that's the genius one. It has 75 magic power and plus five movement speed. Next up is fleeting time. Now this only works on the ultimate skill. Let me explain why. Time stream. After an elimination or an assist, the cooldown of the hero's ultimate is reduced immediately reduced by 30 points. I want to kill Ling again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's kill Ling again. So this is the ultimate right here. I gotta kill him. Alright, there we go. After chasing Ling down, the cooldown of my ultimate was reduced a bit. But I'm equipped with the fleeing time. So yeah, I was <laughs> chasing Ling down and then there we go. So this will reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill, which is this one right here. Yeah, it reduced it. So that's the fleeing time. Stats again 70 magic power, 15 cooldown. Winter's Transion. Now, this skill, I don't think it's gonna work for this guy. Maybe I should get a proper hero to fight me. You? Alright! Alright, you do miss. Um, the <laughs> That's enough urban, that's true. Alright, 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 okay. Let's get the winter Frontier and use it on this one. I think she's gonna kill me. I think she's gonna start fighting me instead. So yeah, I choose a different hero this time. Ling didn't work out, so... Oh look, this one's working! <laughs> this is enough. So I think she's gonna... Yeah, that works. Okay, so come here, come here. So this is how the winter tension works. She's fighting up again. There. Now, she didn't attack me fully because the Winter Trunchion just frozen me into but <laughs> Winter Trunchion frozen me in place. So yeah. The oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot one was an annoying little thing. All right, back to the Winter Trunchion. So let me explain the pa the skill. Active skill. Frozen. Freeze upon using. The hero can't do anything, but will be immune to all damage and debuff. So. One one here is a marksman, and that's why you put her here because literally, the passive gives me a passive that immune me to damage. She can attack me as well because I'm frozen in place. However, I can't move around. So yeah, that's it. 
Also, its stats right here is 60 magic power, plus 25 physical defense, 400 HP. And I guess you have to skip away from fighters and marksmen here. And that's an example of getting away. That right there is a crazy marksman. <laughs> okay. Next up is my items I always use. It's Feather of Heaven. Now, here's one thing. Mage attacks only has red numbers. Now, I said before about the Calamity Reaper with the true damage. The true damage only works with Calamity Reaper and some other items. Their normal attacks is only red numbers, which is physical attack. With Feather of Heaven, there's an additional magic damage. Now, the magic damage is the purple numbers. The, bio, the purple numbers on it, so that's magic damage. Changi on the upper end has a very unique skill from this. Yep. No, 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 no. <laughs> Quick, run. Coming. So yeah, her second skill activation. I need to clear this out, please. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. Thanks, thanks. What is this so yeah, her second skill has two magic damage. Feather of Heaven only give you one, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, the unique passive is Affliction. Basic attack will deal 40% of the hero's magic attack as extra magic damage. So yeah, upon attacking using basic attack, you get magic damage. Yeah, and I used this on Shang He, so... Yeah. Also there are stats, 65 magic powers, 30% attack speed, and 5 movement speed. And attack speed is added to this item. Yeah, I act like a box man. Let's go for the last items, starting up with the Holy Crystal. Now this thing increases magic powers for the final equipment. Her final damage is 101. How do you find me already, Snick? <laughs> the Holy Crystal actually increases more power. I don't know, but its mystery is called, but its unique class is called mystery. And it increases magic attack by 21 to 35 skills with level. I don't know what it means, but yeah. Holy Cross still also gives you 100 magic power, so yeah, that's why I said it's the last item. Blood Wings is the last item as well, and it is gave you gave you more HP, 1.5 HP for every one point of magic power added. So I think when you have more magic powers in it, I think you get one, more HP. Two, so yeah, three, that's the Blood Wings though. Wow. Also, its stats gives you 150 magic power and 500 HP. So that's the magic items on the game. And by the way, this is the last item I'm gonna show you guys. This is called the magic potion. Now, the way to obtain this magic potion, you can't put it in the recommended, and you cannot buy it manually. You can buy it when you have six slots items already. So, and there you go. Magic potion is finally is finally activated it, and you can just do this to. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> so yeah, magic motion is equipped. It it only increases the cooldown and the magic attack. So yeah. By the way, see, it lasts 120 seconds. So that's in-game time in here. But... So that's it, guys. That's the magic items of the get yeah. of the game. But right here, yeah, that's enough now. That's enough now. So yeah, thanks. So yeah, that's the magic items of using certain heroes. Now, let me explain about the assassin mage and the fighter mages before I end this video here. And what I said about the, uh, the Calamity Reaper. This is the fighter mages here. Guinevere, <laughs> Silvana. That's the two fighter mages, not the assassin mages. <coughs> Kalina. The perfect Goshan, combination. Selena and Harley, which was last patch as Mage Assassin now. Also, there is one Mage Marksman here, which is Kimmy, which, yeah, she acts like a Mage, but with Marksman attack styles. Also, the support heroes can use the magic items as well. Well, some certain support heroes, because some of them carries around physical attack, but some carry on magic attack, so, yeah. Next video is going to be attack and defense, whatever, whatever, and the these items as well though so yeah the magic items are only shown i can't say about these things because which way these are common items which i only got i only said about these items right here the main items you must get but they have the recipes and they have just cost anyways so i didn't actually add the cost so yeah that's it guys that's showcasing the magic items that was
I did take three on this video. <laughs> I take three on this video already. That's like, that's the second, that's the third takeaway you did. So, I hope this video is okay. If not, I have to try again. 